Welcome back. In this video, let's take a look at form action redirects. When working with protected routes, it's quite common to redirect the user to a login page to access the content. For example, on our website, we can convert slash news to a protected page. Only if a user is logged in can they read the articles. Let's see how to achieve that in this video. At the moment, we set a username cookie whenever a user registers or logs in. Let's rely on this cookie to protect the slash news route. In the news folder, within page.server.js, let's import the redirect function from SwelteKit. Within the load function, we check if username cookie is set. So destructure cookies from the argument. And then if not cookies.get username throw redirect status 307 and the path is slash auth. If you now head back to the browser, clear the username cookie and navigate to slash news, you can see we are redirected to the login page. Of course, redirects within a load function is not new to us. What we are here to learn is redirecting from an action. If we enter the credentials and log in, you can see the logged in message. What we would like though is to be redirected back to the news page. Let's understand how to achieve that. We're going to begin by keeping track of the protected route when we redirect to the login page. So in news folder, page.server.js file, destructure URL from the argument and append URL path name as a redirection query parameter. Question mark, redirect to is equal to URL.pathName. If you now go back to the browser, clear the cookie and load slash news, you can see the URL has a redirect to query parameter. It keeps track of the route we should navigate back to after successful authentication. Now that we have the query parameter, our next step is to send this value to our action. And we do that from the HTML. In page.swelt file within the auth folder, import the page module from app slash stores. The page module gives us access to the URL parameters. So within the script section, const redirect to is equal to $page.url.searchparams.get and the parameter is redirect to. If it doesn't exist, we default to the root. We then append this value to the action and form action attributes. For the action, question mark slash login and redirect to is equal to redirect to. And for the form action, register and redirect to is equal to redirect to. Now that we are passing the redirection parameter to the action, for our final step, let's redirect to that parameter. In login and register actions, destructure URL from the argument, and after cookies.set, throw redirect, Status is 303, and the path is url.searchparams.get. Redirect to or forward slash. The default value is not necessary, but this is fallback if someone forgets to default in the page.svelte file. If we now head back to the browser, 
clear the cookie and navigate to slash news. We are redirected to slash auth with a query parameter set to slash news. Login. And we are brought back to slash news. The cookie is also set. This is a much better user experience. Now the redirection logic is completely up to you, but auth redirection is a common example which I wanted to showcase. All right then, thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.